Okay. Hey guys, so welcome back to Sulu Lux Life. I am Suleika Luna, and if you enjoy the luxuries, luxuries of life, then consider giving this channel a subscribe. And today's sit down video is going to be one that I've been debating on when exactly to do it, but it is my designer handbag collection. It does range from highs and lows, so just so you know, an FYI, since I don't have a lot of SLGs, I'll also include my luxury designer SLGs. So if this is a video that catches your attention, if you're looking for a bag inspiracion, that's the Spanish word of the day, inspiracion, inspiration and keep watching and as for today's crystal of the day i won't get too into it but she called me and it is pyrite so this is going to be the crystal of the day it is also known as fool's gold she golden yeah and pyrite signifies protection warmth and creativity but let's get into today's video so for my first bag that I will be showing is actually the first handbag that I've got and she's been with me for years. This was like, it wasn't actually, come to think of it, this was my first hand, like designer handbag purchase. It's from Coach. The hardware is, you know, definitely has seen its day, but I got this bag in... 2013 and the leather the quality she looks really nice you know what let me put the mic here because every time i put the mic far it's like you can barely hear me so with this bag this crossbody i wear it a lot it's beautiful to style and guys don't be safe on coach because coach right now she's making a comeback but i like the fact that it comes with a chain so if I want to wear it like this, I can. She cute, you know. And also, I can take this off. And it also does come with its own cross body bag. So I'm a girl that likes versatility. Here it has like the cute little coach. I barely ever actually have this sticking out. Maybe I should have it sticking out more often. I don't know. Maybe I will. I... This is like one of my travel bags too because it's really easy and compact. I don't know if Coach has bags like this anymore because this was definitely a good buy. I got this in the outlet and I don't ever see myself giving it up just because she, maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still debating on it. I do use this bag. This is actually one of my most used bags because it goes with everything and it's easy, fits everything. And yeah, so that's my first bag. This is my first ever designer handbag. Whether you consider, I do consider Coach designer because it's a fashion brand. Okay, so this next bag was gifted to be my gifted to me by Chrisley, and it is another Coach bag. It is this cute tiny micro bags. Before you know, micro bags were even in, and comes with a crossbody as well. And I've been using this bag a little bit more frequently because this bag does hold a lot. It, yeah, like when I went to Maison, I wear it for Valentine's Day, but it has like this little compartment where you can put your card, hold your cards, your ID. So you don't really have to put a wallet in there if you don't want to. I have a mask in there. Like when I tell y'all this bag, I'm getting a lot of use out of it now. And here I have like more space. And she's cute, I like it. I'm happy with this gift. So it's sentimental to me. That's my second bag. This is my JW Pay. I don't know how to say this. To be honest, I have yet to wear this bag, but I like how unique it is. Love the color and the only thing is, you have to be very careful with what you put in here, but it is spacious. 
there was like a time in IG where I was seeing this bag nonstop and she's cute like I need to style it I feel like now that my wardrobe is getting a little bit more on the neutral side I think it'll definitely be easy to style this bag and she a little funky fun bug let me see can I no can can't do it okay so it's just handbag I started working at Kate Spade I had to get a Kate Spade bag this was the bag that I sold a lot of and it's like my only silver bag I really do like the gold tabby bag and this is the next bag i wear it sometimes like this like a clutch it does have a cross body as well and i have papers here i don't know where these papers are from and it does have like a zipper in the middle huh i have stuff in here what oh my gosh oh my gosh so i used to have a scent bird subscription i wonder if this still has anything what is this perfume? Oh, this is Kate Spade walking on air. I forgot I had this in here. It's been a while since I've used this bag, actually. She's just been sitting up there. Oh, and look at I have a little hand sanitizer. And I have, <laughs> I got two segments in here. What? Oh my gosh. Oh, and it's like literally, <laughs> and I really like styling it. It fits a lot because I would put my sketchbook in here and a few pencils without, you know, because I can't really put a pencil case in there, but she can hold stuff. Not remembering that I did in fact have Michael Kors bags, but after the Michael Kors scandal came out, I basically gave all those bags away. I could have sold them, but wasn't really thinking about that in the time. I just didn't want to look at the bags. And the only Michael Kors bag I stayed with, it was like this burgundy bag. And I used that bag to the ground. And I did have this tan one and I had this like tote looking coral bag that I would use as a beach bag. Uh, my bad choices back then. But it did get me to where I am today. A girl's got a little bit of flair. A girl's got a little bit of style. Yeah, next bag. So this is another Kate Spade bag. This bag, it's just like the quality of the weather. It feels really, it feels really nice. Like, like it feels really, really good. At the end of the day, a lot of these bags, whether it's super high end or what, what is Kate Spade, cate, Kate Spade categorized? Anyways, I just feel like this bag here in comparison to my first bag this is outlet this is from the actual boutique and you clearly could tell the difference like in the leather quality if this one's like much more smoother this one's much more uh like what is it called pebbled hang on i feel like it kind of dented i haven't worn this bag in a while but this bag i would use a lot when I got it it's like it stays open has that it has like the really pretty Kate Spade like lining inside of it this is a really 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 nice bag I really like this bag and it just looks so pretty on oh, I love it I remember the first time that I saw this Kate Spade bag I saw a, a client walk in and she was wearing this back crossbody and I felt instantly in love and then they only had two in stock so I got one for myself and one for Chris Lee for a birthday gift I think it was so yeah this is she a fave she a fave and it was once I you know I think I got promoted around that time too that I got this bag next bag I got this is on the higher end this is my Gucci and she's a cute little pouch and with the Gucci, I won it on a giveaway. If you haven't seen the video, I do have like a makeup, a get ready with me story time and explaining how I got this bag. But 
I just like the classic. I do have emotional attachment to it, but it can hold a lot as well. It's really nice to style. And yeah, I feel like I just have to wear this bag more often. She's on the vintage side. So she is, she's, she's aging gracefully, but aging. So yep, this is my Gucci pouch. These two bags were gifts. And the one that my wonderful best friend gifted me was this beautiful coach like bucket bag. I like the fact that I like the different color monograms. I like the different textures that the bag has, the elements. And then of course, inside it's so beautiful, velvety and soft. And then it also has the um, crossbody that matches the handle of the bag. I sometimes do carry it like this or I will wear a crossbody if I get tired of just holding the bag. She's so cute. I'm really happy that this cute little bucket is with me. She cute, she cute. And then this is the latest one that was gifted to me, Brandon Blackwood. She's similar to Prada. And now that I have this bag, I don't really feel the need to have the Prada. I think that the quality is beautiful. I just love how comfortable it is. And can a girl really tell the difference just styling it like this? Oh wait, no. And I also do love how much can fit in it. It's giving me the 90s vibe. I do have a few little goodies in there. <gasps> Let me put this over here. <laughs> and yeah, like this bag can carry a lot. Like I have chopstick, hand sanitizer. Oh, <gasps> I was looking for this. Now I know where it was. And guys, last but certainly not least, this is like my first ever like big, designer luxury all the shebangs it is my bottega veneta of course i had to leave the best for last i love my little dumpling bag i call her my little dumpling bag i like styling i was looking for this gloss too what's wrong with me but i do love styling the bottega veneta i love just i just love it i love it i freaking love this bag and I don't ever see myself getting, like selling it in the pre-love market. I don't see myself doing it. She's cute, she's here to stay. I like the knitted version as well. And there was even this paper version. I thought that was really cool and funky, but I did want to stick to something neutral. So this is my dumpling bag. This is my Bottega Veneta. Now for the SLGs. I have two SLGs. And the first one that I did get, I got below retail, is my Miu Miu coin purse. This is my everyday bag, holds everything. I like that I can put cash money, cards, mostly has cards, but, and it has like a cute little, like a little crystal in there. I've had this wallet for years. For the longest time, I'm like, I don't need any other wallets. I'm good with this one. She's held up so beautifully. The hardware, the quality, like, what is this hardware made of? Because when I tell you I'd be throwing this little coin purse in every single bag, I'm just like, I'm gonna get in there. The second SLG that I do owe is this Chanel card holder in the, what is it called? The caviar? Caviar, yes. So this is in caviar. She's beautiful. I got this in the pre loved market. I got this in fashion file and this was just a gift to myself for opening uh, Sulu and also for I think it was for starting my channel like I love this card holder I was like this wallet obviously it's not bad but the card holder is for when I use my smaller bags and sometimes I just go out with this like I don't need a lot of things in my wallet so these are my two SLGs so I hope you guys did enjoy just getting a walk through to into uh, my designer handbag collections 
from Coach to Bottega Veneta to Chanel and you know I got a little bit of everything and I'm really happy with where my collection is as of this moment and I'm really excited to just continue my YouTube journey and to see you know what pieces make it and what pieces I've let go because I'm definitely gonna start switching things up so stay tuned for that I got my eye on something so I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you made it this far thank you thank you thank you I appreciate your love and support if you like this video this kind of content you know subscribe hit the like and that bell for future notifications so you don't miss another Sulu Lex life and till next time y'all this is